Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Walking, and I'm here with another Dragalia Lost video, technically. Happy 4 year anniversary, even though it is not probably the happiest time to be celebrating as we, as you know, the game is shutting down, even though it's currently up. Funny enough, if you go in right now, you can get, um, um, some good stuff. I think it's not Wormite, it's actual diamonds that they're giving out for the anniversary, so that's pretty nice. Um, I wanted to do a video today that I've been planning on doing for a while. It was one of two videos that I wanted to do for a while. Um, I've actually been working on a Dragalia video just in the process that won't be finished until it's actually time for the game to shut down. Uh, and this video I kind of wanted to do a look back at some of the covers that I've been saving because at a certain point I stopped deleting my covers so I have a good majority of my Dragalia covers so this would be a good way to kind of look back at the game and reminisce a little bit so that's gonna be today's video i hope you like it um i know it's really rough for dragalia i know i haven't done a dragalia video in a very long time but it's mainly because similar to ore collection i have to just kind of move on and i couldn't play it because it just sucks too much to play but anyway i digress let's get right into it huh uh so yeah this this one is i think this is when Reborn Gene first came out. I think this is the funniest thing ever because if I, if I remember back from when I first talked about Reborn Gene, I think my opinion was like, it's fine, but she's no Daikakoden. And then I was completely wrong. I was so unbelievably wrong in to such a hilarious degree. And she was always became the unit that was really hard for me to get. It took a while too. You can also see my terrible editing job on this one. Man, sometimes the PNGs for Dragalia stuff wouldn't be out. This one, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. You can just see a terrible job here. Also, there's Morgana in the background. Sometimes it's easy to see Morgana, sometimes it's not. If you don't know this, um, ever since Morgana released, this picture of Morgana has been in the background every single time. <laughs> Sometimes he's there, sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. It depends on what the thumbnail is, but they're usually hidden somewhere. So see if you can hit him, see him from here. But yeah, that's my memory of this banner, is that this was a light unit that I actually, a dragon that I really wanted. Not that I, I didn't want at the time, and then over time it turned out that they were actually the best dragon that I needed, and I was like so in pain. Alright, let's go on to the next one. This banner, okay. Also, you'll notice a motif here. If you look at the background, I don't know how to do backgrounds for covers. I think this was in, oops, is it completely random Every depending on when I click it? I guess so. Okay, no, this one just got skipped for some reason. If you, you could look at it here, you could see a graveyard in the background. That's to signify the death of my luck. That's the day my, my luck died, and that was the day I put that up as my... Uh, background and it's in a background that exists for a vast majority of these where did that other one go I, I'm sure we'll find it anyway this is a banner that I got extremely lucky on I don't remember the name of it but this is the one that lets you basically like it was like a banner with a whole bunch of limiteds on it um, but seasonal limiteds on it and the one I wanted was same and I wanted uh, dragon Yule lily and thankfully enough I was able to get both in this one which was pretty nice actually uh i wasn't expecting it you can see the morgana right there right between them and you can also see the, ed the editing is slightly better because these actually had pngs attached to these so i didn't have to do them myself all quick in a hurry so pretty nice i don't think i ever ended up using same very much because he ended up being replaced pretty quickly but i always liked uh dragon yule um lily lily was the first five star i pulled from um past tutorial i got her and leviathan first multi i got two leviathans and her lily and i was like oh damn the rates on this game are amazing and it turned out no they weren't because back in the day <laughs> i think right after that i got nothing but worm prints because that was back when worm prints were in the banner but that's my memory for this one let's move on to the next one. Oh, come on there we go. I guess it's all wonky. Nothing special. Thank you for the amazing 1,000 days of Dracalia Lost. I don't even remember what happened the 1,000 days. I mean, wanted to say real with you. Oh, this was such a happy moment. I was so happy with when Miriam got released. Also, very easy to tell. Right here is Morgana. A return of the... Actually, this one wasn't as bad, but you can see a little bit of the... Actually, this one might just been a 
straight PNG. I actually don't know what this one. The MIM is straight up a PNG from the site. So I wonder if I had to do any form of editing on this one. Hmm. But I was so happy when Miriam released. MIM is still my favorite character from Dragalia Lost for a lot of reasons. Even down to the fact that in the Japanese version of the game, she shares the same voice actress as Quetzalcoatl, who is my favorite character from Fate Grand Order. So a lot to, lot to love here. I was so happy when they released the the reason Brunhilde chose this body form for Mim, Miriam. And then her unit ended up kind of not being very good. <laughs> this was during a very weird period where they were like trying out the new mechanics. Technically, we nuked everything. Uh, she ended up being not that great, but whatever. She was still a mim, and I still used her. I still use her. I think she's still on my green team that I can use anytime. But that's my memory here. Thankfully, she wasn't too hard. Actually, she was a pain in the ass to get, from what I remember. Mm. It's always like that sometimes. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, here we go. Mm, is Morgana here? Morgana has to be somewhere here. Where are you, Morgana? Man, I don't know where the hell I hid Morgana in this one. They must be very well hidden if I cannot see them right now. Anyway, I don't remember too much about this man. <laughs> oh no, I remember. This was when, um, again, releasing the weird, like, post-nerfing of all characters. This specific trial, Trial of the Mighty, where they had, like, no good spear units and then they released a spear unit dude specifically for it so scummy i still think it was a very scummy move on their part even though i was able to beat it pretty easily without him in it i still thought it was kind of bad <laughs> still kind of a scummy thing to do i also remember using her a whole bunch for i swear that she had like some big deep fan on the dev team because i can't believe this is actually an alt from her regular unit and both of those units ended up getting spirals i think down the line it's kind of crazy to think about it um I never ended up using you either. I did end up pulling her. Not on the initial banner, but I did get her, but I don't think I ever used them. I think you were supposed to use her with him, but I don't actually remember that much. But yeah, that's all I really remember from this. Again, and you can see the graveyard in the background signifying my luck. Still dead. Oh, come on now. There we go. This, this is for the anniversary. I don't even remember what I use this for. I think that I just use this because I was like, this is a very good mim picture with the tiny prints. And, you know cool dragon dude in the background eating some cake what's not to like about that one uh bahumit oh man this was a pretty fun i still think this is one of my favorite anniversary units <laughs> she was so much fun to play and she could just summon a dragon in the background and you didn't have to actually go dragon i thought it was a lot of fun and you can see the morgana right here um that's my specific memory for this one. This one's still pretty recent, so it's not much memory other than I thought it was a cool idea for it. And plus, I always liked the idea of like an altar design of characters, and this was basically her version of the altar. Also, it was very easy to distinguish Zena and Zenithia, even though they don't, I, man, it still gets messed up in my head about which one is which, to be 100% real with you, but <laughs> between Gala Zena and Gala Zenithia, it's all a mishmash of the same person in different timelines, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Eventually I will hit something new. There we go. Hmm, this is Fire Emblems. Fire Emblems Lost Heroes. Is this when they brought them back? Yes. I don't really have much about... Now, funny enough, I do owe a lot to Fire Emblem Lost Heroes, because if it wasn't for this collab, and D-Free kind of like needing someone to talk to <laughs> to talk about the game while he summoned i think i remember because i remember when he tried to do dragalia videos people would get on his case for some reason because he wasn't like fully into the not fully into the game but wasn't fully into like knowing of the meta and frankly for that that one <laughs> that one annoying dragalia dude was enough for Diffy to go like okay he has a valid point here i'm gonna bring someone in next time so i don't have to deal with this so he brought me in and i was so fucking nervous <laughs> during the entire time of it i was just like uh if you actually go back to that i think you can hear my nervousness because when i'm nervous i don't stop talking but funny enough also when i i don't stop talking in general but there's like a breathlessness to the way i'm talking where i'm like uh, uh, uh okay so we have here uh you you know this unit specific like i'm talking about units that are like three star and four star that no one uses trying to sound smart and intelligent 
<laughs> but that's my first foray into it. And then funny enough, if you actually go back to those Fire Emblem Lost Heroes, the original dudes who I did the videos for, um, the Chrom one was super successful for me, and I think it was, I forget who it was, I don't, I remember it was, it might have been Freya, where I did something and someone commented like, hey, shouldn't you do the actual thing, because I was like br talking her up about how you use her specifically and then not playing her that way, because I was bad at the game, and so he's like, shouldn't you actually be using the unit the way you, like, are describing it on there, and I said, you know what? You're right about that, and since then I had improved a little bit, but that's maybe the, the best form of constructive criticism I've gotten in the form of a question of like, how come you're not doing this better? And the answer was, uh, you know what, very valid question next time for the next one. And I eventually got better at doing character stuff. I still wasn't the best of the best, obviously, because I think the dudes who are really good at Dragalia are really good at Dragalia, so I'm not at that level. But I got good enough to have fun showing off the character, which is what I cared most about Dragalia characters, was how much fun they were to play with, as opposed to like how quickly could they finish out events and stuff like that. Uh, next... okay. I think this is when I actually use them. There's Morgana in the background right there, you can see him right there. Winter theme. There's a giant winter theme in a lot of my covers. It goes all back to Maribel when I first did something with Maribel. Um, I think there was like a good year and a half where nothing but the backgrounds were like snow. No real reason other than I like snow. <laughs> no one ever commented on it, so I assume nobody gives a shit about what I use for my background. But if you're ever curious, that was the reason why. I just like snow. I think it looks neat in covers. Alright. Go here. Oh, I am the custodian of the world. My world, our law, my body is the world. My body of the world. I think this was for Elysium? Yeah, I don't remember. I was so happy that Elysium came out, I think because I still didn't have Reborn Gene and I finally had a good light unit. The main reason I wanted like a good light dragon was because that fucking Darth Vader fight with that guy was so annoying and I hated it so much and I wanted to die every single time I had to do it. But it was the only way to get your light units better and so I just suffered until finally they released Elysium. I think it was really easy from what I remember anyway. Uh, I don't know what the hell I was doing for this one. I don't know where you can find Morgana in this one. I always liked the idea that she, I don't think she ended up being very good. I don't even know why she had, I think it's because she's fancy. That's why I have it, but I could not tell you why I use this background or anything. Sometimes I just do stuff on a whim. <laughs> sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. I don't really have a reason for why I did it with that one, but there you go. More, more, more. This is for the- oh man, you, <laughs> this continues the theme of me using real background pictures for Hall for Christmas. You can still see the guy who originally made the- who took the picture of this background, Brian Munoz. <laughs> Shoutouts to them. Uh, I really liked this guy. I remember thinking he was cool, and I liked him in the story as a dude who just showed up as like Dragon Yule Santa and just was like airdropping presents and stuff. I thought that was neat. I thought it was a very cool way to bring back a character who was like, I don't know if there was a lot of dudes asking for him back other than the dudes who remember the early Mercury meta stuff, but yeah, cool. Still liked him. This background is obvious because it's from Disney's, um, it's the Disney castle during Christmas time. Yeah. I also really like this unit. I think this is the one I tried to get after I failed to get Halloween Ellie, is I tried to get her and I was actually able to get it so I was always very happy but I remember being like well that's my light lancer that's my girl and you know I liked her since then it's a shame she didn't end up being much better over time I would have gladly used more of her she was just a little bit more usable but she wasn't unfortunately for what net light needed but it's okay because she was cute and she was there when Ellie failed to show up for me Let's continue on. There's a lot more of them here, I know, but for some reason they are being weird at showing up. All right. These, there's the Morgana. <laughs> sometimes Morgana's very easily hidden and sometimes she's just out in the open. I like the look of this guy. That's about all I have for these specific characters. I've, they started to lose me a little bit on these guys. I know a lot of people like the Saint guys, but if I'm being 100% real with you, a lot of their character ended up just kind of, except for her. 
she was basically the only one. And the ones that looked like the... I think it was Nevin and someone else. Because they remind me of Good Omens. But, I don't know, they kind of lost me on this one here. I don't think anything really attracted me to them. As opposed to a lot of other characters. She was very cute, though. Which is why I would want her. That was the main reason for it. But again, this is when they started releasing units that were like good and very niche ideas and i just wasn't into that idea <laughs> i was i was never into that idea at all this is just a very shitty upgrade <laughs> summer alex i really like summer alex but this is a terrible photo of her up close sometimes i just don't know what the fuck i'm thinking with covers <laughs> let's go to the next one let's just see until we get a new one I'm sure once someone will show up. There's just so much. Oh, I love this one monkey. This is another unit. I love the design of where she could go just full on monkey with everything. Uh, Ape Escape 2, I think, is the background here. Um, for no other reason than monkey. This is another sign that you could tell that I just <laughs> really started to notice nobody cares what I put in the background. <laughs> so there's yellow monkey Cleo. 300 monkeys are smarter, they're senior, and they're trying to take over this world. That's basically what this unit was for me. Oh, I love her so much. She's so much fun to use. And there's Morgana in the background, as you can see right there. Next one. Lady on. No Morgana here, which is funny. I think she's bo this unit showcase was before I started doing um more gone in the background of stuff this is also post my death of luck as you can see here uh i also really like this unit i like mana caster units that fire non-stop if you actually go back to the showcase for this one i remember i actually spent a lot i wanted to try and do something different with showcases and make them funnier and show off more stuff so there's a really good edit of rambo with on shooting her gun um it ended up not it, I think it ended up being that people would have preferred just regular me, so I never did anything more of it. It's for how much time I spent on it, it ended up being like, and how much risk I took with copyright. The actual thing was people going like, oh yeah, that, yeah, you, you sure did that. So I was like, ah, whatever. I guess you guys just want basic old bread and butter stuff. So I gave them that. Let's go on to some more. Come on, I know a new one will show up eventually here. We got, oh, here we go. Uh, Human Jupiter. Man, what is up with the quality of Human Jupiter? Sometimes I just like grabbed whatever. You can see another shitty edit job here. Just completely, look at this. Look, look at these hands. Losing color, unbelievable, unprofessional of me. Absolute trash. He does a little bit of a better job. But he's still a little bit bad here. That's all I really have to say about these dudes. I was never one into jupiter all that much i do like that he showed up as a lawyer which i think fits always thought he looked like a paper like a what i assume a k-pop dude would look like in dragon form that's about all i got for him though sorry for any big jupiter stands out there oh, there's really nothing much. i think this is another character where it's like nothing much from what i remember from Funny enough, back in the day, she was an actually very solid dark unit, but this is back when- Oh, there's Morgana, right there. <laughs> right in the crevice of the arm. Um, she was a really good dark unit in the days of when there was no good dark units. So, I thank her for that. She never ended up being super good from whatever- I think I remember she ended up having a decent mana spiral, but not to the levels that she once was when she was a top dog in Shadow. Monkey. Alright, let's go. Eventually, we'll hit something new. Come on. Come on. Here we go. This. Okay. I remember this one. Let me see if I can find the Morgana. There it is. Right here. Right there, staring at you. Um. I remember I was so happy when Cerise finally got her Mana Spiral. Because I absolutely love Cerise. But I feel like the reason I loved her was because she shared the same like DNA as Mim, where they were both party members from the story who were limited at their debut and were fire units, and they were both ended up like aging terribly. Eventually Mim got in a fantastic buff that made her like a top tier unit, but Cerise never did. So when she finally got her mana spiral, I was so happy, I was hoping for her to be the best. And I remember it being a fantastic spiral, all things considered. Made her very usable. Uh, so much so, it overpowered the much better unit, which was uh, the, the prince's shitty brother who was an absolute shithill 
absolute terrible character that I hated every single time he ever showed up. But people really like him because people like, uh, I guess people like having bad taste. So they absolutely love this type of character. <laughs> I've never liked this type of character though across all media forms. So it's just a me thing. But yeah, I was so happy when Cerise finally got her stuff. And you could, <laughs> I think someone once a long time ago said, how come it's always the girls front and center and never the men? And I said, I will do my best to try and like mitigate that. But the reason is, is because I like the female units better than the male ones. That's basically the end all be all on that one. That's mainly why I summon. But I understand that there are female units, female units, there are, there are actually women out there that exist that would hope to see beefcakes up front and center. So I tried my best to just kind of be like occasionally having the dude up front. But if you notice for, for the vast majority of them, the lady is up front. And you can see here, it's, <laughs> what was I doing here? There's a, oh, I remember now. Cause she's the bacon priest priestess. I did a background of where there was a bunch of pigs in the background. <laughs> There's Morgana just chilling with the pigs over here. Uh, ah, it's a shame they never got to do more of the Eldric, Eldric being, um, stuff in Dragalia. I always thought that was super cool, but it's unfortunate that they, they are never going to be able to finish that storyline. Sad, very sad. But I always liked the bacon priestess over here. And good to see the pig still in the background there. This is for... There's Morgana right there. I forgot what the fuck this video was for. But this one is one where obviously I use Galanaut with Miriam. Huh. Galanaut was a fun character. I really liked her design and giant knot. Ah, oh, it's such a shame we lost knot. And we're going to lose knot with a lot of the Dragalia stuff. Because knot is just like... Um, the good version of the girl from Genshin that I can't remember the name of, the little fairy that is also there, Paimon. Ah, that sucks. I love Knot. I love all forms of Knot. Giant Knot, Big Knot, Fat Knot, Chonk, chonk Knot, I guess is the politically correct way of saying it, but cool character. And I love Miriam as well, but that, that you already know that. Next. Oh, Shadows of the... God. I don't even know why I did it this way. Um, I think this is for when I was doing the Shadows of the Kurmurkoshu event. And I did it with Galanaut, so that's why she's here in the background. Sometimes, again, with a lot of these backgrounds, I realize people don't care. I care that this, you can see this ninja girl in the background. But people actually don't care, which is always perfectly fine. We're just putting Knot there front and center and being okay with it. I'm sure people would look at her more than the ninja in the background. Let's go until we get some new ones. I'm sure one will show up eventually. Here we go. Wind focus. Why was I talking about this? It has to be, this is probably when... Well, to be fair, in general, you should talk if you care about something on YouTube. Talk about it to an excessive amount. Whenever you can. So whenever I had an excuse to talk about Dragalia, I would. So it's like, all right, let's talk about the Wind Focus banner for now. That's the only reason stuff like this would exist. Bacon Pistis. Come on. Ah, there we go. Uh, Tommy Gun. Galilee Unitas was so cool. I think it was pretty funny that. It ended up being after they released him, they never brought him back, and it also ended up being this case of like, oh no, we're not going to release him for a long ass time afterwards, even though he's the best fire galley unit. I thought that was funny. Another dude who shoots a Tommy gun. Funny enough, usually I would hate this kind of character, but he won me over with the Tommy gun. The Tommy gun is absolutely cool, so I love him for that. Let's see until we can see some more. Don't, but don't, but don't, don't, don't. Come on. I know I'll hit one eventually. There we go. Ah, uh, this is when Grace first showed up, isn't it? This is, yeah, Grace and the. So, there's Morgana. Did Grace really come after. Man, did Grace really come after the Persona dudes? For how influential Grace ended up being, that's kind of crazy to think about. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But I can tell you a funny story from when Grace first came out. So, 
when Grace first came out, I super highly underrated her because I was like, I think I said something to the effect of if you could find a way, I wasn't like saying outright that she was bad, but I was saying like, if you could make her work, it would probably be fine, but you're probably okay to skip her, which is the worst advice in the world to give because it turned out that Grace was actually extremely good and she was extremely broken and such so it ended up driving the views of that video to a much higher degree but because i was wrong people were constantly leaving dislikes even though the video was clearly said my immediate opinion of her and i ended up being wrong and i did end up releasing a video saying like damn i was wrong get grace and it's always funny to look back and be like yeah i was wrong on that one 100 percent wrong of doing it to be fair a lot of people were wrong until she actually came out and started doing stuff, um, which was, I think, my favorite time of any gotcha is when you can actually just judge a unit when it actually comes out and not looking at paper stuff. Once you introduce math and look at just pure math statistics and that's what you determine a unit to be good or bad, I think that's when you've lost the thread on your gotcha and you should quit it. But it was perfectly fine here. But yeah, that's a funny story about Grace. Next, uh, the Persona collab. Happier times. I really don't want to believe that the Persona 5 curse is real and that all gotchas that do a collab with Persona 5 are destined to fail a year later. <laughs> but goddamn, this Persona 5 have one of the worst track records I've ever seen, which is a shame because this event was fucking rad. I love this event so much. I think I have a cover for it, which I can hopefully talk about it a little later if it randomly shows up here. Let's go back to looking for more new covers. Doom -ba -doom -ba -doom -doom -doom. Windows image looker is terrible. Oh man, what is, I, mm, what, what was I doing with this one specifically? I think this is for, that's Garuda, but what the hell was I doing for this one? I think this is just an excuse to put a nice looking lady up on the cover. That's what I'll take it as. Best summons of 2020. This is before I got the Yakuza font, which is the current font that I use for everything. <laughs> this year for when I did the Dragalia summons were some of my best. Um, I had such a crazy cracked year for 2020 summons that when they died in 2021, I was very sad, but it is what it is on that one. What well, with getting Mars in a single, getting Leonidas super easy, getting Alex in like a multi, getting Robot Girl. I actually have a very, I always, I'm always gonna remember this pull of when the day I learned my cat Normie had died, and I did a summon video for that one, I was just so bummed out. It was a very sad video, but I was glad to at least say I, I pulled it and say, hey, shoutouts to my cat. It's a really weird time to be recording to that. Probably shouldn't record in that specific mindset, which I, thankfully after I did that, I actually did take a break and didn't upload anything for a while. But I don't know, I had gotten into my head that you should always upload when you can. And if I ever stopped uploading, I was afraid that I would never upload videos again. But it ended up working out in the end, I think. I don't feel like that way, that way anymore. It's probably not the most <laughs> healthy way of looking at how to do things to push yourself. Also, another thing, as you can see here clearly, the Christmas decal in the background <laughs> is my continuous love for Christmas shows up. All right, let's see if we can find another one. No, that's an old one. Come on. I know one will show up eventually. This is when Galaranzel went from bad to good. Here's another Morgana you can see here in the background. <laughs> this was a crazy glow up. It was so satisfying seeing that Galaranzel and Galamim went from two of the worst five stars to two of the best ones in such a short span. That was always really rad. And he was a fun unit to play with too. Mm. Oh man, I wish I remembered her name right now. But I love this unit because she's the the good the I think it's is it Courtney? I don't think it's Courtney. It's the pre I know I remember her voice because she's always like oi oi. I think I love doing every single video with her because every video I ever did with her was me slowly evolving into doing her English voice, which was the maybe one of the worst pirate accents that you've ever heard on a person going oi oi oi. And every single video with her always devolved into it. Katrina, because Katrina also had a fantastic blue unit, so you would hear her voice a lot, and you would like oi oi. oi. I'm a Katrina. It's the maybe one of the worst voices in the game. 
not in terms of the, what the voice. I think the voice actor is doing a fantastic job, but it's such a funny voice for Katrina. You never expect, especially when she turned into like a opera singer. I just couldn't imagine that voice singing at all. But I like her a whole bunch. I think she's cool. Uh, let's see if we can find another new one. Doop doop doop. Now we're doing gacha pulls to see if we can get new covers for Dracalia. <laughs> Dum 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 dum. What? No. No, this is new. This one was for Lily. I think this is after I started using her. I don't remember where this background image is from. I want to say it's from the night parade at Disneyland, but I don't think any of the things in the background are Disneyland related. Yeah, this is the one for the banner when I pulled for. Nothing too crazy here. This is for when they all got mana spirals. I think if until you can see once again Brian Munich. Brian Muno still in the background there. Um I ended up really liking his uh see this is one of the very few where the man is right in the middle. Even though I would so badly want the other two to be kind of in the front and center here, but I think he actually ended up being my favorite of the ones to use. So it was a fitting one to go in the first. I think up until the end I never was able to pull Dragon Girl Cleo. It's one of those units that I just was never able to get for whatever reason. This one! Galabi Skilla. This is when I actually got the Yakuza font, so it was all good here. This is based off of the Giant Claw, the the movie poster that you can literally, literally see in the background, which is a 1950s um, giant monster movie, bad Godzilla ripoff uh, called the Giant Claw. It's as big as a battleship. It flies four times the speed of sound. Atomic weapons can't hurt it. It's absolutely... It had to be an Atomic Age movie. Because it's the only time they would ever use atomic weapons. So it would have to be somewhere in the 1950s. But Galley B. Sela kind of reminded me of... Um, a big boobed version of... The Giant Claw. <laughs> so that's why I ended up doing this one. I was really sad that no one ended up really commenting on this one. Because it turns out a whole bunch of people have never heard of the Giant Claw. Heathens get culture to watch bad movies like I do and then you can understand my sick ass references Let's see if we can pull up another one Don't don't I always use the same I think the ones that say important news all those I always use the same one <laughs> I, I had been doing it for years. I don't think anyone ever cared There's a whole bunch of videos that just have the similar video title and with this on the cover of it. So Made my job easier, that's for sure. There was a new one and then I lost it, unfortunately. Let's go forward again. Do ba do ba do boom ba do ba do ba 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 da 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 Countdown bonus. Nothing really to say here other than I bet once I go here it's gonna Okay. There's a good one. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't think it's another one of these new dudes, so I don't have much. I really liked how she played. This guy was basically a fucking galley unit. This is probably where you can see... This guy had to have been supposed to be a galley unit. Because he they made this man fucking busted as hell. That only explanation for making him so busted and making him... An, I think the only reason we got a bunch of units that were not galley units, but were on the par of galley units, is because the game was shutting down and they hadn't known since that moment. So he was probably a planned galley unit and they just made him crazy good. That's the only thing I would explain for these two, because I think they're both on a similar level. Obviously he's much better, but they were just absolutely nuts. If I were to put my conspiracy here theory hat, that's the hat I would wear and say... Because I bet since then they had been planning it for a while. Because if he definitely felt like Gala quality. So it was weird for him to not be given the Gala treatment. And there was a whole bunch of units that were really so like that. Ah, oh, damn. I'm... Ah, oh, fuck. I can't go back. It's fun. I usually don't have anything to say about these two either. Even though I really like her design. I don't remember ever pulling on this banner, so that's probably why. There it is. You can really see how crazy Carmen's chest is. I can't believe they actually were able to get this approved for Dragalia. Because there's really just nothing. Nothing there. Just the, the imagination is what's protecting you from seeing any form of Carmine here. There's, of course, Morgana. Again, I really liked um, Lady Ons. Uh, how they did her unit. I think that they did a great, great job. Curse Connections. 
this is another one where it ended up being the the guy I ended up getting for this, which was the bull. He ended up being one of the better units to use with Galileonitis, but just no one realized it because he was a four striker dragon, and no one realized how important he would end up being for year, not years to come. But it was one of those years where it's like, ah, we don't need him right now. When are they going to release a unit that's gonna actually going to use him? And it turned out Galileonitis worked amazing with him. So that was pretty fun. I was glad to be able to get him randomly. Let's see. I know there's more, but it looks like this very might well be the- Oh, this one's good. I'm glad I was able to find the- get get to this one. This is the- <laughs> Again, this is another case of where obviously the galley unit is this guy right here. It, he should have been front and center, but I made it serious and this is that- <laughs> And then the background of this picture, if you're curious, is the fucking grassy knoll where President Kennedy was <laughs> No one ever said anything. Oh man, I love this. I love the idea of this so much. And then I think eventually when I actually did pull off, uh, pull, um, Sharpshooter Sirius, I did use my original idea, which was taking the Hellboy. Is that a monkey? It's got a gun. But changing it to, hey, is that Sirius? She's got a gun and blam blam. But that would take a very long time. I unfortunately was not able to get her on her original banner. You see, that's another unit where it's like, she wasn't like the greatest unit in the world, but she was definitely one that I wanted to use a whole bunch. And I was happy to have. Uh, hmm. Alright, one moment. Let me see if I can fix what we got going on here. Beware the warping that you're about to see, because I'm using the display capture. There we go. There we go, it's a little bit better fixed. The dash of disaster. I always thank this event for giving us people. I really love people. Uh, one of the best videos that I think is on the channel is one where we use Trash Alliance for people runs of uh, Brunhilde um, that a lot of people ended up disliking because they probably thought, hey, this is going to be a very informative video. And it was actually just a lot of like goofing around and shitting around. <laughs> meme video basically so they probably didn't like that shout out to Mayo who's playing Guilty Gear Gazerd Revolution right now me yeah I know it's fine um there's Morgana in the background I don't have much to say about this one other than I wanted her and I don't think I was able to get her which is sad for me very sad on that this is what that version okay this had to be what it was is that I that original one you saw was a testing one for this one that I ended up using. That's the only explanation for why it's there. Okay, this one. This so this is a meme that my brother showed me of Morgana in these Tims and uh yeah. Since that point on, he's been in basically all the Dragalia covers. This is such a good cover. I think I ended up using it multiple times. I think it's the best one. I think it's the most reflective of what you can expect from me in this channel. Is stuff like this. Uh, this was, I think, the Dragon Team? No, this was for when, I think, the Mars Mana Trials of the Mighty came out. And I, this was the team I used for it. Yeah. This unit being a Katana unit. Ugh, bacon piece this again. I loved this unit, but she just wasn't very good, but she was fantastic for this event because she was one of the very few 5-star katana water units. Oh man, I hate the idea of mm, Trials of the Mighty so much just because there wasn't enough dudes in every single class to make it worth it. I like the idea of it though, it just didn't work out in execution. Here's Zena with the android girls, nothing more to say there. This one I constantly get harassed from my brother and sister because apparently I did not so this is for the dragon Pandora and this was supposed to be all oh, in reference to our dog Pandora but this is not Pandora this is her sister and so I go like how I have exactly two so every time I show a picture I, this would go on for a while because I always fucking forget which one is which and I'll always show when I, when I would say Pandora and I would show a picture of Pandora what I thought was Pandora it was her sister Buttercup instead completely wrong I don't remember if this is supposed to be Pandora this looks like Panda to me so I'm gonna go with this is Pandora <laughs> I sure hope it is anyway 
You can see here Morgana in the background. Digest. Oh man, I miss Digest so much. These are when all these bears got up bloated. I don't have much memories of them except for him because he was with um, the axe girl that I really liked. We're kind of chilling in the back though. Mars and Jean. I think this is also when they got their update and stuff like that. I wish they had done better jobs. I was always so bummed out when it turned out that they were generic buffs, basically. Uh, this is another unit that I really liked. Nothing more to say here, but to say that. Kid Ranzel. Look at him. I'm s I'm so s I'm so sad that Kid Ranzel ended up being one of the worst characters in the game. And then one of the things he did, did turned out to be a bug and then nerfed him. <laughs> they nerfed one of the worst characters. <laughs> Female Mercury was cool though. That was the reason I was actually summoning. But I was thankful I wasn't able to get him. I think this is when Gala Ellie got her Mana Spiral. This is when Gala Beast Volk came out. That was crazy. The rollout of these were really weird. Where some of them were units and some of them were Gala. It's a shame we didn't get all of them. We never got Cayenne, which would have been funny because Cayenne is hella racist. So there was no way for them to give him to us. Because it would have been like, happy-go-lucky, and then he would be like, I don't think the races should mix. It's like, damn, Cayenne, you are just too evil with your racism to be allowed in my kingdom. I would put my foot down. Tartar says Wrath. Um, or as I call him, the Darth Vader guy. Yet, yeah, there's a good old racism right there. This, uh, this is the Bondforge Prince and Bondforge that the, uh, both of them I ended up getting. And I don't think I ended up using either one of them to be 100% real with you. Just too sad to play the game. This is from... There's Morgana in the background. The Crossover Girl... Oh man, that was a shame. The, I think the most obvious sign that things weren't going good is when we didn't get a new crossover for Fire Emblem. <laughs> it was maybe the most telltale sign. Oh. See, Summer Mim I was just so happy with. I didn't even bother to really hide the Morgana. Summer Mim. What a fantastic unit that ended up being not very good, but I still love her to this day. This is when Alex got their Spiral. It's so crazy that they gave Alex a spiral. I don't think they really needed one. Eh, I don't know. Alex always seemed like they should have focused on spiraling units that were actually in need of it, but they always had this feeling of like, well, we actually need to spiral people, dudes people care about, which at that point I'm be like, whatever. Probably another sign that the game was going down is that they wanted to spiral all the originals and stuff. This is when Prince finally turned good and they gave him a spiral. <laughs> I hated the initial rollout of this, by the way. I still do really not like it. The trial of the mighty spirals, they were so bad. Same for Zetha. Zetha. She was a trial of the mighty. I don't remember this one. I guess the Alcatav is a fun ass unit to use. Super fun. That's all I got for that one. Did I end up pulling? This makes me feel like I pulled Dragon Yule Cleo at some point, but in my memory, I never pulled her. Aw, oh, man. This is the new Grace. I never was able to get the new Grace either. I like the idea of them giving Grace a new thing though. But boy was I was prepared for Grace to completely screw up the meta again. There's just an excuse to put Lady On up. Galadragalia, which was, oh god, when they gave us the Halloween with fucking the Frieza Nyx. Stupid sexy Nyx and the other two here, which were fantastic. I really mostly remember her being good. I don't think I ever used him very much. But she was there as Frankenstein. Yeah, Halloween background. Trick or treat. Good stuff. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with the Gala, with the Gala Nick stuff. This was a pretty fun one where he's sitting down and he's like, Hello there. Hello Mario. Welcome to my uh, lovely abode. Let's talk a little bit, Prince, shall we? Aw, oh, shoutouts to Gaming Quit. I know he's a big fan of her. Absolutely loves her. Cage Desires. Oh man, I love this. 
Yeah, man, the ending bit here when you fight the boss and they did like a full-on like persona all-out attack pose, it was so cool. This is when the leak stuff happened, and I got to talk about leaks and how they were top secret. The paternal king, yeah, I ended up getting him. Didn't end up using him very much. I don't know why I pulled on him, because I didn't have a way to actually get his weapon at the time. Let's see more... There's Arthur, aka Saber from Fate Grand Order, even though they're not the same person. Um, sure looks a fucking lot like her, though. I was happy when they finally made him good. So here's my thing with the way he's arching his back. I thought this was supposed to be his butt. But then I realized that's not his butt. That's the side, right? Where does the butt begin with this man? Because if he's here, it looks like he's weirdly cheeked up, but I think it might be that it's it's this way. That's all I got for him. Oh, angry man, literally, while you're burning everywhere. Yep. I don't know what's going on with this background, if I'm being one of the real with you. Sometimes I just made a background. Didn't really think about the consequences of said background. Mm. Clawful Caper, I absolutely love Clawful Caper, though. Uh, the fight I did for this boss where I put um, Big the Cat's uh, song in the background as I fought it had me dying how well it ended up theming it to it. Oh, rip Mega Man, you were supposed to be good, you were bad. This is maybe one of the best ones I've ever done for Dragalia, the Gallic Kronos Nyx, and having it be like um, Final Fantasy. That was pretty good. I forgot to fucking erase this part though, that's annoying to me. I should have remembered. Mm, bros. Test your mic. Just because of how much you had to constantly press the button to um, do anything with this man. I think it's Galathor. This is a big old close up of Mim for you to enjoy. Oh, no, this is actually my favorite one that I've ever made. The Choose Your Heroes from the Marvel vs. Capcom side. Gala not here on the side. I think originally I wanted it so that. It was a bunch of different Dragalia characters, but I ran out of time and I just put Morgana here as one of the characters instead. I like the idea of it. If I had more time, I would have probably done it, but I like this one the most, I think. There's um, Summer of the Imp getting bonked in the head. Pretty nice. This is, the, I think, the video thumbnail for when I declared something about Mim. I don't remember. There's a lot of them. There's Nedric doing Nedric stuff. Probably for his gala. Mmm... What? This had to be New Year's related, I think. News! More close-up of Summer and Summer Mim. There is, again, the Disney background. Still there. Lilith's encroaching shadow. Joker solo. Oh! <laughs> Pia! I love Pia so much. I think I've said it before that Pia has that energy of someone going, like, I'll do my best in an army sense, and she just looks like she's always in a constant state of, I'm trying my best, sir. <laughs> she always looks like that to me. Uh, more hot guy Leonidas up here. Princess Connect Redive. That was the name of the collab. I never ended up getting her, I think. That's right, Pandora was included in this one. There's some more Nicks. Mim, Cage Desires, Gala Remix, Rage of Bahamut. Ah, oh, man. That was another pretty good one <laughs> for Tartarus. Of him being Darth Vader standing and her getting completely taken down by this combo of Bahamut. Mm. <laughs> what the dog? What? <laughs> Ooh, this is the background of DMX's Rough Rider. <laughs> I don't remember why I put this as the background. Did DMX recently- did he die when I made this thumbnail? I honestly don't know. But this is the background of the DMX and the Rough Rider. Ah, uh, here's the Sarishi, has got a gun on Blam Blam. Ah, uh, this was such a good cover for it, I love this one. Faith Forsaken. What's up? It's me, Low Poly. <laughs> Low Poly Satan, here to- Get gas. There's Morgana right there in the background. Ah, uh, Shackles and the Syndicate. The Syndicate, another thing that was sadly never going to be able to completely be taken down. There's some more Brian Munoz for you. His work. So everywhere. Slow down. 
don't remember why I put this here. Oh no, this is another good one. The Snowboard Kids for Ilya. Alright, the, there's some, again, occasionally my shitposting versions of a cover were really good, and this Snowboard Kids one was fantastic, only for Jugalia Lost N64. Fantastic, great stuff. Uh, this month in Jugalia Lost, I would eventually change it to, because I kept deleting, deleting it, I would eventually change it to stop fucking deleting this wokey.png. And I think this one, the only difference between this one is that this one has Morgana in it. One of these versions has Morgana in it, I think. <laughs> this is when they included, I think this is the fifth time in a row they included Galathor for a Galadrigalia remix. And I was just fed up with it. Oh, man. Good times. Oh, Summer Mem. Fantastic. Let's go through a little bit more. There's Joker. There's Day of the Tentacle. Text the speech. Oh yeah, this is when I. Oh yeah, this is when I was doing the thing where I wasn't able to actually speak, so I had text to speech to do most of the. Man, this is a weird time, where I wasn't able to do a lot of the things talk, so I had to make a machine do it. Ah, uh, what a fun art that was, though. Hmm. Twin cast. This is another nice one with the Oto twins. People were so pissed that she ended up being the old granny ended up being a hot woman. And what I'll say to that is grow up. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I don't know the context of <laughs> this video was this cover whatsoever of the flaming background and poor God in the air. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. Oh man. I had so much fun with this. Jigalia really was just a fucking fantastic game for me. I think I, more than anything, it just helped me become better at what I'm doing now. Which is in and of itself pretty good. This is where I had a bunch of difficult, uh, technical difficulties. Oh man. Uh, I think this is the last one on record, so I'm going to end the video here, man. There's a lot more covers that I've done over the years, but I don't have all of them. This is when I just started collecting them versus when I stopped. <sighs> Happy 4th year anniversary, Jigalia. If you watched all this, then thanks a whole bunch. Um, I probably will have one or two more other Jigalia videos eventually come out. Um, it's just gonna depend on, um, if I can finish one of them. One of them will be, won't be out until later into the, like, November when it's actually time for it to be released. And, um, the other one will depend on if I can get the person that I want to do the video with to do the video with me. And that one will probably come out sometime in October for the 13 Nights of Halloween. But other than that, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. It's a trip down memory lane, that's for sure. You guys have a good day. Till next time, peace out.